Thank you. You may be seated. Thank you. Hallelujah. Viewers all over the world, I want to give you a salute for your faith. Thank you for your time. Hallelujah. Uh, yes, we shall go as the Spirit directs. I was with you. What a wonderful testimony. Mm, yes, you have seen the reason to believe Jesus. It's reliable. I said, Jesus is reliable. I can't hear you. It's reliable. I say, It's reliable. If you rely on him, he will not disappoint you. He will not fail you. It's not a man. It's not a man. It's reliable. Hallelujah. So if you know it's reliable, what you need to do is to confess what is in your heart. When you read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, when you confess what is in your heart, Jesus comes in to bring the balance. Take your pen and write. When you confess what is in your heart, Jesus comes in to bring the balance. You know he's reliable. Now it is time now to believe him. You have seen he's reliable. You can rely on him. And if you know he's reliable, it is time to confess what is in your heart. When you confess what is in your heart, Jesus comes in to bring the balance. It means when you confess what is in your heart, the job is half done. 50-50. 50 from your side, 50 from his side. It's not only him. I know it's a strange teaching to you. They was, listen again. It's 50-50. This is why you cannot just walk in and receive. This is why you cannot just, after taking drug or taking, um, I mean, you say, oh, and receive the blessing. Your faith is needed. You have your role to play. It's 50-50. How? When you confess what is in your heart, the job is half done. Tell your neighbor. I can't hear you clear. Cuando confiesas de corazón, la mitad de la obra está hecha. When you confess what is your heart, Jesus comes in to bring the balance. And what is balance? 50. From your own side, 50. His own side is there automatically. It's available. It's that anointing is more than the demand. So it's 50-50. To now confess what is in your heart, that is the problem. Everything you are saying, Jesus, him, Jesus, Jesus, you are just speaking your lips. You are not sincere. You have not been sincere. When you confess what is in your heart, the job is half done. That is 50%. Now, the remaining 50%, automatically Jesus comes in to bring the balance. It is not all up to him. Certainly it is not all up to you. Your genuine willingness plus his ability to change. Your genuine willingness, which is 50%, his own ability to change, which is 50%, 50 plus 50. Your genuine willingness, not just willingness, but genuine willingness, that is, it must involve your future. That what I'm saying now, I mean it tomorrow. What I'm saying now, I mean it next tomorrow. What I'm saying, I mean it forever. I'm, I will follow you, Jesus. Not just today. 
when there's money in the pocket, when there's no money in the pocket. That is, confess what is in your heart. So when we say to confess what is in our heart, it has to do with your present and your future. Your present now and your future. It, this means heart. Heart means present future. Whether future, there's money in the pocket. Whether there's no money in the pocket. There's food on the table or there's no food on the table. That is heart. For God to say, a man of my own heart. It's not only considered the present of David. It's not considered the past of David. But he considered his future. Let someone say, a man of my own heart. I can hear you. So for you to know what the word heart means. Faith is of man's heart. Heart means spirit. That is your spirit. Not literal meaning. In your school, it's not regarded like that. Biblically, heart is spirit of man. You rather call it heart or you call it spirit. You call it faith of man's heart or you call it faith of man's spirit. So it means heart, it has to do with now and next. What you will be doing now, you stand for now, is what you are going to stand for tomorrow. Heart. When you confess what is in your heart, the job is half done. Let's almost say that. If you stand before me and say, T.B. Joshua, I'm not where. And I'm a man of God's heart. That's someone who obey God. Listen to God. I will help you. But when you now tell me a different thing, whereas it's not that. Timmy, don't try, I don't have money. Whereas you have money, I may likely not be able to meet your need. Because you have not met 50% requirement. Are you with me? A man of, of my own heart. That is, when you confess what is in your heart, the job is half done. It means if you just confess what is in your heart, I need bread. And God is not giving you that bread. Yet, it's aware you have no bread. It will protect you. It will cover you. It will be with you. 50% is okay. In a neutral minute, in the school, where you score 50%, you have pass mark. So it means, if you now confess, God, I'm sick, and that is exactly what is in your heart, what has happened to you, and you are not received that healing, it means it will be with you through that trial time till you receive. Because it's aware you are sick. Art is very, very important. You can't hear what the Bible says. Christianity lies in the heart. Let someone say that. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Yes. Christianity lying in the heart. Many of you, if you have known this long time, you will have worked in better than this. That, ha, huh, if I confess what is in my heart, the job is half done. I score 50%. It means if I now confess what is my heart, Lord, I'm sick, I have headache, and you could not receive healing. He will still be with you throughout prior of that pain till when you receive. He's aware. When God is aware of your situation, don't bother. 
the situation cannot kill you any longer. If the situation cannot destroy you any longer. Then your struggle will make you stronger. It will not impair you, but improve you. The war, confess what is in your heart, mean match your action with your word. Let's not say. Match your action. That is, what you are saying is what you are doing. What you are saying is what you are doing. What you are saying is what you are doing. It means your word match with your action. You match your action with your word. Mean confess what is in your heart. What you are saying is what you are doing. Just take the summary of my message today. Match your action with your word. Mean confess what is in your heart. The job is half done. Jesus comes in to bring what? The balance. What is the balance? Fifty percent. Come on, let me talk to the viewers. Sometimes they want me to talk to them. They, they, want, they want me to face them. All what I'm saying now, some of them will say, Face us. You are talking to your people in there. Face us. Now I want to face you to tell you what I'm talking about. Hey, viewers, thank you very much. I don't know the position you are in and whatever situation you are facing. No, Jesus knows better. I want to tell you right now. This is a revelation for you. And uh, some of us in the past, we don't know this. But revelation, revelation is ahead of us. Okay, we are here. Revelation is there. So we have to look into revelation to receive. Yes. Speak what is in your heart. Like I have said in my message, that faith is of man's heart. And when we say faith is of man's heart, we mean faith is of man's spirit. So when you say heart, you mean spirit. So speak what is in your heart. The job is half done. Now, when you speak what is in your heart, here Jesus comes in to bring the balance. And when you speak what is in your heart, let's, you say, Jesus, I did this. And this is from your heart. And you are not received that day. Maybe Jesus is aware of your situation. And once Jesus is aware, it's like he has solved your problem. There is no difference between Jesus is aware of your situation and solve your problem. Solving your problem and is aware of your problem is the same. If I have leg pain, look, and I run to Jesus, help me, help me, help me, help me. And Jesus, eh, I will help you. He's aware I have leg pain. It's as good as helping me. It's a, if he's aware I have leg pain and it's not help me, it's not heal me, but I still have that leg pain, but it's aware. It's also as good as it helped me. If it's aware of your situation, your situation becomes his situation. Your pain becomes his pain. By his strife, he, he delivers us. So, they was, speak what is in your heart. Speak what is in your heart. When you speak what is in your heart, say, Jesus, this, he come to the scene immediately, instantly he come to the scene. So please, this is the revelation for us today. You just write it down. This is what we mean by match your action with your word. Match your action with your word. Match your action with your word. That is what you say should be what you are doing. So thank you. God bless you. Hallelujah. We believe you have been inspired by the clip you have just watched. Click here to subscribe to witness more of God's power at work in our generation today and stay up to date. With